All right, guys, long time, no see. Um, long story short, I had to go to the moon for work. We'll talk about that another time. Right now, I want to talk about the McLaren F1, just the plain one. Um, I did this, actually, I recorded this a while back, but the sound got messed up, and I was so discouraged. I uh, waited like another two weeks, and actually, Kind of a, a good bit has changed with me and Forza over the last two weeks. I figured out how to tune shocks and stuff a lot better. I would like to do a video on that. Anyway, we're in the F1. We're at Bathurst. Um, I'm making good headway here. So we're in second place. Uh, I go in a little deep here. I just kind of skim the tire wall and lose two positions. Um, lately in lobbies, and I'll post some videos later of this, but lately in lobbies it seems like um, there's maybe five or six decent racers and then everyone else is maybe three, four seconds a lap slower than I am. So a lot of it comes down to just surviving the first corner and then um, and then getting away from the pack to get with the leaders. So, you know what it might be? Maybe all the uh, like top, top guys are busy with the Invitational. Anyway, we're getting away from the race. I'm bouncing through this section. Usually I'm through here a good bit cleaner. The guy up ahead is not doing too well. So I'm able to keep up with him. And the great thing about this car versus that Viper. I think he has an 08 Viper up ahead. So um, I know that down this straight I will be able to do some damage. You can see in the distance thing I'm really putting some damage on him. I basically killed 150 feet. Uh, we nailed the braking on this. Another thing I've been doing that's really helped my consistency. I'm seeing that it's not here. Um, is running with the um, braking line. Maybe it's cheating, but uh, it's not cheating. It's part of the game. And it just helps me to be a lot more consistent. I know a lot of the top guys use it when they can. Um, I should probably make a habit to race without it sometimes just to learn the tracks, but then I don't want to go into the back of people or miss my breaking points. So as you can see here, I caught up to the guys and I'm able to make good on the F1's uh, straight line speed. I think I'm able to get through this uphill section a bit cleaner than I did on the last lap. So we have a nice little battle going on. Uh, I get pinged from the back by this um, 599. That was dumb. See that? That's the kind of place where uh, the braking indicator would help. I know this is a fourth gear turn, so I take that, and then there's another blind fourth gear left that works. Uh, we ding the wall. Um, the, the F or the 599 GTO is able to hold it together. So now we come to the downhill part, see if I can um, live through here. Kind of cut that corner a little bit. Ooh, did not take that turn well. The 599 is able to get away, but I'm not too worried because I know I'm, I'm only 100. Well, now, yeah, now he, he's pulled a nice little gap. But again, I have the straight line speed, so if nothing else, I don't have to worry about the Viper behind me. You can see I'm just decimating him. It's got to be demoralizing. Jesus. Jesus! 400 feet. So now, nail my breaking point here. And we close right up on the uh, on the 599. I think he went a little deep into that corner. So, one thing that I'm finding is a theme with, uh, with my racing is, you know, I'm able to do well in the middle of the race, but then the last lap, for some reason, I think my nerves just get the best of me, and um, and you know it all kind of goes to shit. 
So, we cut ahead here. I'm just keeping up with the 599. Um, I ding that wall. And, you know, I think in my frenzy to keep up with him, I ding the inside of that. And that's pretty much the end of that race. The, uh, the Viper comes ahead. I lose a couple of positions. And, uh, yeah, that was basically the, the end of that race. I think someone went off on the last turn. So this is a common theme with a lot of my races lately. I'll be up, like, you know, third, fourth. And um, in the last lap, I just get kind of uh, overzealous. And then I start overcooking things. So that sucked. That could have been a better result. But, you know, I'm still... How many people were in that race? I usually pull up the lap times to see if my position in the race was earned. Yeah, we're gonna look at lap times right now, I think. Or maybe not. But anyway, um, yes, we're on a road Atlanta, the alternate full circuit, still in the F1, again, this is a great, super high speed, um, high speed track. So this car should be able to do well. I usually do this or the uh, Huracan with no arrow. That car is a beast on this track and uh, Sebring as well. So I get tagged from the back, but I survive. Um, that Capri is a surprising choice for this for this uh, race because for this track because that's definitely not a straight line speed car I think I'm actually going to catch him let's see this 4 GT now we're three abreast and that's that's usually a signal for a disaster I'm not too crazy about that so we oh of course of course I get tagged and fucking gang banged into that turn um so yeah i think i think everyone should run um breaking line in hoppers because well you know maybe not maybe people would just not know this guy's taking a weird line uh i have to run wide around him i don't know if he's riding driving defensively he breaks way early there's really nothing I could have done for that. I guess I could have went on the inside more. Whatever. Um, got this Aston up ahead. I think he went a little too aggressive with tuning for speed. Um, you know, it's good to have some top end here, but it's not... Um, this is not like Daytona. You know, you still need to turn. You still need to brake. So, we skip ahead for this disaster of a race. Oh, I remember this. Now we got this uh, Z06, this, no, this C6 ZR1 behind me. He's got good straight line speed. He had a good drive out. Now, here's where things get interesting. Remember, I, I got dinged in that first turn and he's on the inside. He's about mm, a little under 100 feet behind me. Do you think he's going to be able to make a good block pass on me? Or do you think he's going to make the most ambitious lunge ever? Yeah. Yeah. He, he went for the lunge. <laughs> he went for the lunge. So, uh, I had another race where something similar to that happened. Um, I just thought that was hilarious. So, that's pretty much the end of this video um i have some more coming for sure i'm gonna try and do one a day and put them up but um yeah thanks for watching let me see what the yeah i kind of finished where i was supposed to with lifetimes anyway thanks for watching comment subscribe let me know what you think thanks